How's it going everyone? Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome back to the grind. Hopefully you're having a very good Friday. And uh, you join me on Tundra in a tier 10 game with uh, new 780. Yep. And I'm expecting to be put into quite a few tier 10 battles today because this is actually recorded on Thursday uh, when the 780s got released. And yeah. It's probably going to be quite a few of them. We also have changed to vents. We so we're back on with vents, and we have got no more food because I need to try and conserve as many credits as I can. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit annoying. And I'm not looking where I'm going. Very cool. Yeah, we'll get one in. Uh, can't get another one. Ah, there we go. He's dead anyway. Um, everything's been spotted apart from a T30. So, please don't be over here. I also want the sound. Don't need that. I reckon the T30 is actually over this way. I mean, even if we take one big shot from him, we should still be able to get a fair amount in return. So we do have a lot more DPM, obviously. going to continue trying to push because there's no point us uh, kind of just sitting there doing nothing. We need to get into this position really to uh, make the most of it. I can't spot the T-30 from here either. Oh, well, they're going to cap out so I need damage. Uh, well, that was a fun game. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. One shot of damage, and it's literally over within like no time at all. Wow. Wow. Well, that game lasted 3 minutes 28 seconds for the entire enemy team to die, pretty much. And we earned 70k. Right, another tier 10 game, and we're going to go to the right-hand side. And hopefully we can help our heavies out, play a little bit of a supporting role, but nothing too aggressive. Ooh, hello, Skoda. Very nice. Already we have more damage than we did last game. An improvement already. See? Always get better. And I think we'll just sit around where this E75 is. Because there's no point us trying to go in too much. We might as well try and see if anyone wants to push this side. And then play from that. Although if this guy keeps pushing up like that, it's going to be quite annoying. Hmm, okay. Well, actually, the team is... Hmm. It's the most annoying thing when your teammates get in the way. Hopefully shoot this a mil one, maybe. Maybe if he peeks again, we might be able to get a shot off. Ah. Well, that's a V5. That's a bit depressing. Um, 780 going to peak this? Probably not. Going to pull back now because that V5 looks like he's going to peak again. Hmm. At the moment, it's just about staying alive and not losing hit points. That's all we need to do. So... We can peak from there. Can't really get a clean shot there. And now we can. Unlucky. He just moved as we shot. Maybe if we had a little bit better reactions, we could have done something there, but that's fine. He rolls for 550, which is... Oh, sorry, 505. Which is uh, lovely. Nice. Can bait him into shooting the tracks. And now he's fired all of them. 
We can maybe try and shoot his cupola. Oh, okay. This guy's overpeaking a lot. Can do one more shell, I feel, before. Mm. Yeah. We don't really have a clean shot. There's no clean shots there. We don't have the uh, the pen to go straight through him. STRV killed him though. And now we can try and push up a little bit and try and deal with this conqueror. Tracking once. We might be able to get the tracking damage here. He's stock. So, hopefully, I can just keep him tracked here and then we get the assistance through that way. Be able to get a shot off in a second. Very nice. Now we can push up a little bit. No. I don't have enough uh, enough pen to truly deal with this guy. I will just keep him trapped though. Nice. Nice bit of assistance damage. All goes towards XP, so it's fine. There's also the char there. Hmm. I don't think he's going to pick that again, but if he does... Oh, okay, no, don't worry. Unlucky. Char did actually kill him, though. There's also the FV that we need to be a little bit worried about. Okay, he's dead. Good. Progress forwards again. FV and GSAW could be at the very back of the map in those bushes over there. Although they're TDs, so maybe they don't move. You know, they could still be here. I'm just going to wait here for a second, see if he does spot the FV. Doesn't. I reckon the FV's just sitting here waiting. I don't think he's gone into this bush here. <laughs> My mistake. Well, this, is, this hasn't been a bad game. We've done quite a bit of damage combined, you know, 2.5k. It's good enough. Uh, I don't think we're going to get another shot off in time, unfortunately. No. But that's that's okay. We've uh, we've done plenty of damage, and that should give us some nice XP. And also, we can, uh, of course, do the times three as well. I mean, in the matchmaking at the moment, being so many 780s, literally everyone's driving them. So everyone is out on the server at the moment, and you're going to have some pretty fast games. Like, even more than so, more so than usual. And apply. Nice. 5,000 XP. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, 1k base. Good enough for me. I can actually take a little bit less uh, gold so that I can... Play something like that. Just so that I can make a little bit more credits. And we're on. Ooh, we can actually get the engine now with that. Which is nice. Um, and then we will need 24,000 to get the next engine. Which is on the Conqueror as well. So we need to. Uh, we'll want to get that. So I'm just going to quickly go and compare the engines. What do they actually give? So this one gives 10 power to weight, the uh, standard model. And then the middle one gives 12. And then the top one gives 
and 13. This should help us out quite a bit, actually. I'll tell you what I am going to do, actually, is I'm going to reset this for 20,000. Grab Brothers in Arms. But I'm also going to go and grab the off-road driving and then we'll put repairs on. Because that should help us out and be a little bit faster on different terrain types as well. So, yeah. Play our third and final game. Hopefully it goes, uh, well, should we say a little bit better than the last one? Maybe 2k damage? Okay. Well, we're on Mannerheim line. Tier 8 only game against tier 6s. Well, it's not a tier 8 only game then, Max, is it? Tier 6 game. So, plus 2 matchmaking. Which is very, very fair. And, yes. Definitely doesn't make my tank super OP. Anyway. Let's, uh... Go down to the left hand side and hopefully we can farm quite a bit of damage there. Okay, let's just sit here for a second and just wait because this guy is. Ah, that's unlucky. He stopped right as I shot. Very nice. One into you. I don't really want to push up too far. Wow, the artillery is actually there. That is annoying, actually. That's very annoying. Right, well, in that case, then, there's no point of me sitting back because he's going to farm me no matter what. Did I track him there? Pull back. Keep him tracked. Very nice. He's dead. Now we can deal with this Caro. That's unlucky. Okay. I hate low tier arty so much. Almost. It's actually probably worse than high tier arty because it stuns. Well, when it does stun, it stuns and it shoots rapidly. Even though it doesn't stun for as long. Wow, okay. That is... Okay. Oh, we're going to go this way. I'm going to go and see if I can... First, spot that. Which I can't. And then now... <laughs> I don't even know how that bounces. Oh, hello. go finally managed to manages the hit one more in kv2 just shot that's absolutely fine kill this guy in oh maybe not wait for my tracks to get back up and i think we should be able to do this. Because as long as you, like, just stay to the right, you should be fine. Wonderful. Never worried. Now we can continue all the way along. And you can actually play hold down here, like once you win. So like you can play hold down against this uh, Kanonan as well. I don't know what you're on about. We definitely didn't nearly just drown. 
It was all under control. Hopefully this guy peeks, because if he peeks up, then I can go and deal with the KV-2. Because once this guy's dead, there's nothing stopping me from the KV, uh, killing the KV-2. Also keep an eye on the mini-map, because, you know, the KV-2 does still exist. Should be able to spot him. Alright, now we deal with this. I think the only chance that I have is to rush this KV-2 and kill him. But I won't make it back in time. They have to make the mistake of uh, stopping the cap. And I also need to try and get behind this before I get spotted. This is bad. Well, rip. We tried. Unfortunately, our team wasn't uh, as good on the other side as we were on this side. <gasps> Epic reward received. That actually is. Wow, actually is an epic reward for once. Nice. So we get high caliber. We get... What is this? A Scoochies medal. Destroy two enemy SVGs. Oh yeah, I, I killed the FE, didn't I? Ah, I mean, plus two matchmaking is fine. Tier eight in the tier six game, nothing wrong with that. And we even made 109k out of that. Well, I mean, it wasn't too bad in the end, I guess. Started out pretty bad, but the other two games were fine. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, then you know what to do. And uh, yeah, have a very good weekend and have a very good rest of your day. And I'll see you all on Monday for the next episode of The Grind.